Hello everybody, Julia here for day three of the Casual Fridays holiday release in July. And um, I'll be featuring some new stamp sets today. And I also have a giveaway for more details. Head on over to my blog to learn more. I'm going to be using the partridge in a, no, partridge in a pear tree, yes. Stamp set, I'm just showing this uh, against a darker background so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm using my Misty to stamp it. You absolutely do not have to use a Misty. You can use a regular acrylic block, a larger one in that case. Um, this is just the stamping tool that I'm using. And the good thing is here, like if you ever, if this ever happens to you, if you pull it out, like the card base, just make sure as in this example here, you mount it flush into the corner because then when you pull it out and it sticks to the stamp, um, you can just put it back and the stamp will still go where it needs to go. So the first impression wasn't perfect, but that's not that's not too bad. It's a brand new stamp. I haven't used it ever before. I'm just inking it up again and stamping again. I'm using my favorite things, licorice hybrid ink today, because I'll be using Copic markers. And this ink works well with Copics, watercolor and pencils. Now I had looked at some uh, pictures of pear, pears, pears, fruits, these fruits uh, online. And uh, I realized that uh, it, they looked really well if you had like a yellow, yellowish highlight there. So I'm mixing yellow with green colors and I'm just building up the color here. But on my first one, I started with the highlight to make sure I would have enough space for it. And I'm using different shades of green and all the colors will be listed either in the video description below or on my blog. And I'm slowly working my way towards the, the darkest color here. I know it looks very, very green right now, but once you blend it out with the other colors, you won't, um, it won't be quite that, um, that strong a green anymore. You can see here, I'm going over it with uh, one of the lighter greens and it changes um, the, how the dark green looks. That's usually what happens when you go over a darker color with a lighter color when you use Copic markers. And then I'm going to come back with my yellow here and make sure that I have a proper nice yellow highlight. And then I just did, once I knew uh, how I wanted the pears to look, um, I just uh, did my regular from dark to light blending here. And I did it on all the pears at once, just working my way through here, adding the different shades on all, it's the same thing on all the pears, just working my way towards the highlight, which I leave uh, white until the end. And then I'm just coming in with my yellow and going over everything. For the tree trunk, I used uh, different shades of uh, E's and YR's, and I'm trying to get um, like some texture in here, like it looks a little bit, a little bit like a, like the bark of the tree. And later on, I realized it was too light, so I'm going to fix that later on once I've colored the leaves. But for now, I just wanted to have some texture in there. You don't need to do that. You can just have it one color as well if you want to. For the leaves, I decided to use um, YR's and uh, then yellows. And I'm going again from dark to light. And then at the very end, I come in with my yellow and it looks almost like a golden leaf. So I did this on all the leaves. And then I realized that the color of the leaves was very similar to the color of the trunk. So I just grabbed some darker um, E colors, earth tone colors, um, to make the trunk look darker. For the present here on which the tree sits, I'm using different shades of yellow and just blending towards the lightest. And when I was done, I realized it was a little, t was too little contrast for my taste. You guys know I like a lot of contrast. So I grabbed a YR, I think this is a YR27, I guess. I'm just adding a tiny little bit and then I'm coming in with my darkest yellow and just work that transition border and you can see just how nice of a transition you get. Now the stamp set also includes this bird as a solid, um, without an outline, just a solid image. And I'm inking it up twice here. And then I get a really, really nice solid impression of that bird. And look at that gorgeous butterfly in there. It's just amazing. Not, not a butterfly, it's a snowflake. But you know what? It's like, it's as intricate as a butterfly. So I wasn't that far off. So there. Um, this is one of the sentiments in the set. And I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink to stamp it. Um, on the side of my card base here. I put a lot of adhesive on this panel and I'm going to adhere it now to my card base, which is top folding. You can see the sentiment will be off to the side there. Just being very careful because the adhesive is quite strong. So if I mess up, uh, I'm gonna have a problem. So I'm very, very careful here. 
And then I'm adhering a strip of orange glitter paper that I created myself off to the side. The orange glitter paper um, reflects the orange in the leaves of the tree. So I wanted to um, have that color come back in. And then I'm adding some dots of glossy accents and pouring some um, ruby uh, glitter on top of the glossy accents, which will hold on to that glitter. And it looks like a real mess right now, but don't worry about it. Once it's dry, you can use a brush and go over it and get rid of all the excess glitter. And you end up with something like this. So now I also have berries in my pear tree. I know that pear trees usually don't have berries, but you know what? It's a Christmas card, so it needed red berries. So there. Here's the close-up of that bird and the gorgeous snowflake, not butterfly, and my strip of glitter paper. And also, again, wonderful, wonderful font on that sentiment. And here is the entire card. I kept it clean and simple and used colors which are maybe not traditional for a Christmas card, but I just thought they were really, really pretty. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you got inspired. I have some more videos for you to check out. And don't forget to head on over to my blog for the giveaway that I'm having for some of the new products. Cheers!